Welcome! We're about to watch the two-player game between Lockley and um, Impromptu Player. And the map we are watching is going to be on two Green Tooth Gorge. And that's the two-player map. Okay, so here we are. And down the bottom in the south southwest end we've got Locklear and he's playing as Space Marines and he's got the Tech Marine as his commander and his opponent is Impromptu Party and he's playing as the Warp Spider and he's Elder. Okay, so just starting off they're capturing the closest points to their base. Okay, it seems Lock is going for a double scout build and they're moving to the um, southern end of the map capturing those points there. Whereas Impromptu has the Banshees out and he's going to go for an Assault build it looks like and he's on the northern end of the map capturing the points. So basically we have the Commanders on opposite sides and then the Units on opposite sides. So it seems like they're very prepared in this because it's so systematic. Now it looks like the first bit of contact is going to be with this Warp Spider and these Scouts probably this squad here because they're going to be um they're going to be capturing that right hand point there and here comes the first contact and that's going to um start pushing the warp spider away and it looks like he's going to dodge them and go for the teleport on the left hand side of the map we have the banshees in pursuit of the tech marine and we have a space marine squad coming to back up and they're likely going to push these benches away before they can get close enough to make enough damage. Yeah, they're already down half health. And there we go, they've uh, lost um, two squad members now. And we'll probably see these Guardians retreat as the Space Marines push forward now. Yep. And that's really given Locker an easy access to all those points captured that, that have been captured. And Lock has won the first combat. Back over to the right hand side of the map we have um, the Warp Spider having creating a bit of havoc and decapturing a few points. Except Locke is dominating and he's capturing his third victory point here. And it looks like we've got a Ranger Squad currently firing at those scouts and that's going to force their retreat likely. There we go. So it looks like we're going to have the Ranger Squads backing up the Banshees. Once the Banshees are at full health, we'll see them on the field again. Okay, so we've got Locke pulling his units across to the right-hand side. And they're going to try and push off the um, Guardians who are capturing that middle, that right-hand point. Okay, so the Warp Spider is still causing havoc with his teleport ability, which is really um, bugging Locke, I'm sure. Okay, and we've got the Rangers trying to um, push off the Space Marines there. Okay. So basically we've got one generator up for Impromptu at the moment. And Locklear has one upgraded power node. Oh, two upgraded power nodes, sorry. So at the moment we've got we've got equal um power consumption occurring, but um Lock has currently got um, slightly more requisition coming in. Only nine though. Okay, so we've got two rangers on the field now. And it looks like Lock's bunkered himself in to try and push off these units. And he's doing so quite successfully with those guardians in retreat. And his space marines coming to back up there. Okay. So, no one's really dominating map control, but Lock has got that center victory point, which is really waning away at um, impromptu um, victory points there. Okay, so the Banshees are capturing that, and we've got the Scouts to come and combat them. Okay, so currently we've got um, Locklear building an Assault Marine squad, and that's probably to combat all these Rangers, and he'll use the jump to um, try to take those out. Okay. So now um, we've got a full power farm for um, Impromptu Player, whereas Locke's only got his first generator being completed now. And we can see that um, that's um, given Impromptu a 10 plus um, power over Locke, which means we're going to probably see him in um, Tire 2 faster.
then the lock will be. Okay, so these scouts have really walked into the middle of that army there. And they're in full retreat. Okay, so we've got um, Lok's army um, moving to the um, northwest um, end of the map. And they're going to converge on that victory point, and that scout squad on its own is likely to go, go into retreat. And there we are. Okay, so we have our assault marines out. And I believe Impromptu is aware of those assault marines. So he's going organize to organize his units around <coughs> those. We've got the warp spider continuing to um, pester Locke on the right hand side of the map here. And Locke is um, pushing him away from that point. And he'll use the teleport ability again. And he's in full retreat. Okay, so these snipers are really um, taking it into these space marines. And we see some generator bashing here. Whereas Locke has now got a full generator farm. And he is ahead of um, Impromptu Party by um, 15 power. So we will see them likely go into Tire 2 at the same time. So Impromptu's already started his Tire 2 upgrade. And we'll see Locke probably go in it in a few seconds. And there is Impromptu assaulting um, the power farm. And um, it seems like he lost one generator only. And we've got the Banshees in full retreat. Okay, so it looks like the Assault Marines are just defending that power point. And it looks like Locke is going for um, co full control of the power there. And he is um, definitely got the upper hand in map control now as he's decapturing that point and consolida consolidating this left-hand um, side of the map. Okay, so we've um, got lock and um, Imprompt upgrading for Tire 2. And right now I think we're going to see um, that Warp Spider in retreat again, which has really been bugging these, last these two points on the right-hand side. Okay, so um, really no squads have been lost yet. We've just got... Um, Casual capping now, and we've got Impromptu um, pushing forward through the middle, it looks like, and then that left hand side. Okay, so we've got a warp spiders coming through. Now, Locke has got Bionics and the Mastercrafter Bolter equipped, and he has his um, Refractor field coming in. Okay, so um, the Bionics will definitely help when he gets in combat with those Banshees, as he can use the um, sweep ability to get rid of them. Okay, so we've got the warp spiders out and they're probably going to hang around with the commander and cause um, a bit of havoc within these scout squads likely who are very vulnerable to the um, warp spiders. Now we've got the infiltrate ability being used here and um, I think the infiltrate ability is being used to um, try and get a start on this warp spider who's um, teleporting around. We've got a bit of combat here in the middle and we've got the warp spiders in retreat. And Locke is still um, dominating the map control and he's maintained those two points and it looks like he's going for the third one here. But I think he'll be in full retreat soon with um, the Banshee squads and the two Ranger squads. As soon as he goes for that jump he'll be out. Yeah. And that was a smart move on the retreat there. Okay, so we've got the scouts here, um, pushing it, moving in and trying to capture that point. And they'll probably move into retreat once these guardians start attacking. Except the banshees aren't um, backing them up. So it looks like these space marine squads are going to force the guardians out of there. Which is um, a real shame for um, Impromptu. That will put him back a, a fair bit. And he's in pursuit of um, the tech marine who is currently retreating. Okay, so we've got the um, generators back up, and currently um, Locke hasn't up built any Tire 2 units, but we might see something come out soon. Uh, we do know Locke is a fan of the librarians, so we might see him here, but seeing there is no um, Devastator squads out in the field, that might not occur, seeing the librarian is um, usually 
a complement to the Devastator squads with his abilities. To um, remove the setup time. Okay, so we've got the Warp Spiders capturing some points, and it looks like we're going to have the Commander capture that left hand side of the field as they've been down on that side for quite a while in this game. And there's a the Librarian as expected from Locke. And um, that will definitely come up and support his units. Now it's obvious there's no Devastators on the squeal field because of the Warp Spiders who um, just absolutely dominate the um, Devastator squads. Uh, they're probably the most effective counter in the game. Okay, so we've got um, Loxum finally losing his victory points. He's um, just lost two of them now. And um, it looks like we're going to have a bit of a battle with this um, middle victory point. There we go, so um, we've got some suppression happening and um, wow, that squad is taking a beating of how many units it's lost, especially with those rangers. And there we go. And the librarian is using his um, lightning attack ability and the assault marines are definitely going to force a retreat on those rangers. There we go. So those are in retreat. And we've got the... Um, or touch, trying to um, kill that scout squad, but it's gonna, it's not gonna make it, I'm afraid. So that librarian is really a good boost for um, Locke and his units, especially when it has those ranged abilities. And he will be definitely a target to um, attack, especially for how expensive he is. So um, Locke's fully upgraded his um, tech marine. And the Warp Spider, however, has no upgrades. So, um, makes his commander slightly more in ineffective and dominant in these later tires. Now I've got Locke upgrading to go to T3. And if we look at resource consumption, um, Locke is getting a fair bit more requisition, around 40 more requisition than um, Imprompt, and um, he's only getting slightly 5 more um, power. So um, there's not too much in the power there, but um, Impromptu definitely needs to consolidate on some um, just some standard requisition points. Okay, so we've got some generator bashing there, and um, that's definitely going to be um, a good move by um, Impromptu to try and um, destabilize Locke's resources, which um, are very strong at the moment and they might get away with killing that second generator before going into retreat. Yep, and they're off. And they just lost one unit. It's actually a shame for Locke that he um, killed that one unit because um, if you um, retreat a full squad and they're low on health back to the base, it takes actually a long, longer time to regenerate that health than it would to build another unit. But how you look at it is um, up to you, I guess, whether you want the resources or the time. Time is definitely a resource. Okay, so we've got the Librarian using his abilities, but I think um, we're going to force a retreat on that Librarian, especially with the teleport abilities. Okay, so it looks like um, Locke's recaptured that um, victory point there, and he's got the upper hand again. And it's going to get decaptured straight away. Okay, so it's kind of been back and forth these um, last two or three minutes with... Um, a lot more squads in the field. We've got a um, full bar of squads for um, the Elder there. And obviously the Space Marines always has a few less because of um, how costly they are. Okay, so we've got the um, jetpacks jumping in and the Banshees are going to scare them off. And they're just going to push back a bit. Okay, so we've got the... Um, we've got a small um, armies forming in the middle here. And they're going to co combat over that middle victory point. Now the warp spiders are definitely going to be a game changer here because um, just for this battle though, not the whole game. And um, oh, but um, the forcing of the retreat of those banshees is going to be um, a very good um, move. It's a shame he um, retreated all those units there though because um, the uh, space marines were only um, down half health, 
they could have um, got more damage in for sure. Okay, so we've got the ore touch there, and she's upgraded with the executioner blade. And that just increases her damage to 64.28. There is a um, fantastic um, mod there is that um, doesn't really modify the game, but gives you more information about um, the um, equipment and um, war gear that is uh, used during the game, so you can see exactly what they do. Okay, so we've got the warp spiders now upgraded with the aspect of the warp spider. And um, the banshee's just got the aspect of the banshee. Now the warp spider himself, the commander, has now got power blades and an improved warp generator. So that just increases his health and his energy. And the um, power blades obviously improve his melee strength. Okay, so we've got a bit of combat on the left hand side. And we've got really the main force of um, Imprompt's army coming down the left here to try and decapture that point. And um, with only 20 victory points left, he's really um, moving to um, save those victory points because um, if Locke gets the upper hand again, I don't think um, he'll be able to get back from it. So currently um, Locke's um, got no victory points, so he's going quite successful on this small campaign here. But um, we might see a change around very soon with Locke's army pushing forward again. We've got the scouts and their... Without a, if they were with the sergeant, the grenade could um, really disrupt um, the armies there. But I suppose um, Lock is saving some for the um, replenishing on the squads. So there we are. We've got the squads trying to recapture those victory points, as the um, the obvious weakness here is in Prompto's um, inability to use the time seeing he's only got 20 victory points left. Okay, so we've um, got the tech marine trying to cap that middle point it looks like. Except we've got the ore touch there um, ready to combat that and he's probably going to go attack that warp spider. So we've got the army coming through now. And there we are. Lock is in retreat there. And his assault marines are there, but um, there isn't enough force to um, take out those four um, four squads we've seen here. Three squads in the ore touch, I mean. So Locke has got the upper hand now. He's got the two victory points, and his units are all going to go for that middle point as um, Imprompt goes for this left-hand side here. So it's a shame um, Locke didn't leave these scouts here because if with the shotguns they could have shot back this um, warp spider off the point and um, won the game. But I uh, suppose um, it would just be delayed a bit more. Okay, so we've got a bit of firepower happening from these um, warp spiders and um, those assault marines are taking a bit of a beating but it looks like they're um, going to be quite effective. Now it looks like Locke is delaying that jump there for the teleport but he's already got them in retreat. So all three points are back in Imprompt's control, but now Locke is recapturing that. And with his scout squad going to the left there, he might um, be able to capture that and consolidate the game. Okay. Okay, so we've got the um, two squads and... Uh, um, and the um, commander coming through now, and um, they'll probably come in to try and capture that middle point there. And now um, we'll see the power generator is very vulnerable to attack right now. Now, I'm not sure if Locke's shunning his um, resources and just hasn't realised, but um, he might even bring a dreadnought out in the field with that many, um, with that much requisition. Not that a dreadnought would be too effective though. Maybe something um like a predator. I'm surprised he hasn't um, already started building that. Yeah, so we haven't really seen any um vehicles or anti tank um units needed during this game. Which is um 
kind of good for Locke seeing, um, he would have to rely on the missile launches and the melter bombs. Seeing a plasma cannon wouldn't be very effective with the warp spider being able to flank so easy. Now we've got the tech marine down, which is a very large blow for Locke seeing, um, that's one unit he's invested a lot, seeing he's fully upgraded. Now, we're seeing a lot of recapturing of points here. We've got a bit of a battle on the left-hand side of the Autarch in combat with virtually the whole army of Locks. And we've got the rest of the army, and it looks like this is where the um, last minute of the game is going to be spent. Okay, so we've got um, the Autarch in retreat. And Locks units are very much taking a beating from the warp spiders in the distance and the um Oh and I've just realised that we've actually got two warp spider squads on the field now, so that is um a lot of firepower there for the um space marines to withstand. And here comes the dreadnought that is much expected. No, it's the Terminators. I don't know how I didn't think of the Terminators coming through. And um they're really going to just push back and capture that point, and that's going to win the ga game for them. There's not much um, Imprompt can do now with that 4,500 health, and Locke already capturing that left-hand point with his Librarian. So, um, suppose that's the game there, and um, this was brought to you by WNX Amarines, and it looks like... Um, We'll be finishing up just here as the Autarch is unable to um, capture this point in time. And there we are. And there's just a slight bit of combat there as the um, Autarch tries to get that last point. Alright, so we've finished all up. Thanks for watching and um, have a great day.